Okay, a quick tutorial about UVs in a space draw because many people just don't know how it works uh, for, for what I've seen. So, uh, this is an object I've been working on, it's nearly finished. This is modeled with space draw and uh, unwrapped with uh, 3ds Max and I've been painting it this time using 3D coat, but usually I I was working from before, let's say before I had a computer again, I was painting with a uh, without flow. Unwrapping with 3ds Max, which takes some time because there's no dedicated tool to do that, so you have to do it manually in the viewport, which takes some time. But uh, unwrapping with Space Draw, painted with Art Flow. Now I do this with a computer, it's quite faster. 3D Max, you've got pelt and relax tools to unwrap, and uh, 3D Coat, well, it's quite amazing. So, uh, I'm going to fuck up the texture somewhere and put it back in place just to show you how it works. So I'm going to select, uh, I don't know, let's say this yellow object here. So I select one face, or I'm going to work on this one, let's say. Okay, so select this object, sorry, select, invert, selection, view, hide selected. Okay, now I work only on the part I want to show you. So, I'm, I'm selecting this face, which is good now, and I'm, I'm going to apply, I try to put it more or less in the uh, parallel to the view, the viewport. Uh, mat I go in material, I check which material is applied right now, material 198. So I put a planar map on the face. So you see now, I can see the texture. And the part I want seems to be there. But the problem is, when you scale, the pivot of the planar, which which is here, is used for the scale. So I'm going to scale and move and scale and move. You, you can do it, but it takes time. That's not the right way to do it. So my advice, put the planar map. Well, it's not my advice. I mean, it's the right way to do it. You need to use the UV tools of Space Draw. So use the planar, first thing. Place more or less the, the part of the texture you're interested in and then you get out of the material you go in select face and UVs it's here so this tool is a bit confusing because most of the UV tools in 3d programs are in a 2d viewport like unwrap UVW for 3ds max 3ds max here you, you can do the same the tool is very good but it's in the 3d viewport so at the beginning it took me some time to figure out how to use it properly but it's it's really well made. So I need to work on this face. Now I'm going to put again a pivot, it's called ref position. But this pivot is not really, even if you're in a 3D viewport, try to understand that the pivot you put it on a pixel in your image. image. So let's say I want to snap the top left corner of this part here, the top left I want to snap it on the corner of my face. So I'm going to put the ref position on the top left pixel, let's say, of the area that I'm interested in. And now I get out of ref position, I go in move, snap to vertex, and now I move my texture and I snap it in the corner. You see, space draw, just snap the ref position of the texture on the 3D object. And now when I scale, it's not like the planar map, when I scale, the pivot of my scale is the ref position. So it's very easy then to do that. You can rotate it if you need. And move it in the proper position and that's all when you did when you do that if your scale is wrong and you want to work with a ref position in the center you just put it in the center and from here you see you can scale your your texture and get exactly what you need and that's all so i put it back in place now my object is fine again okay